Hey everybody, so today I have for you a collective review of a whole bunch of different baby bottles that are made specifically for breastfeeding babies. Now I did want to make a point before I start the review of saying that you can still be breastfeeding while bottle feeding. If you are giving breast milk in a bottle to your baby, you are breastfeeding. So don't sell yourself short. So I tested these bottles in a couple different ways to see if they were good in going back and forth between breast and bottle. And honestly, I have to say hands down before I start this video that all these bottles, without a doubt, had no problem going back and forth. So, little spoiler alert, but I didn't have a problem whatsoever with any of them. Now, if you're new to my channel or new to my videos, you will know that I am exclusively pumping right now for my five-week-old daughter. However, for the first few weeks, I was nursing. The first couple weeks, I exclusively nursed, and then around week three is when I introduced the bottle on and off, and by week four, I was completely switched over to exclusively pumping. Now, during that week, I was introducing the bottle. Obviously, I was still latching her, still bringing her to the breast, and still offering her a bottle every now and then. So, I tested the bottles that way, and then now that in five weeks I've latched her during week four I latched her and during week five I latched her and she was willing to eat off of me after having bottles for almost a week straight. I also did want to give you guys some tips on when you are giving the bottle to make it more likely that they're going to take your breast again. I'm by no means an expert whatsoever but I did do these so I feel like they helped and I'm just going to say them real quickly. Okay, so the first one that I always do is I would tickle her upper lip just like I would with my nipple and then that way she's opening super wide for the bottle even though she thinks it's a nipple and then I would place the bottle in her mouth once she opened wide just like I would with my breast and then I would also make sure that she's latching onto the bottle correctly just like I would at my breast. That's just making sure that they're all around just you know, latching onto it well, and I feel like instead of just shoving it in their mouth, it's giving them kind of the same experience of being at the breast. Obviously not the exact same, but as close as you can get it. And also a really big one that can help is pace feeding. I'm not going to try to explain it here because I'll probably butcher it, but just look up pace feeding on YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials and it'll give you a good idea of what to do there. And the last little bit of advice that I have is that you want a bottle with a super slow flow nipple. I feel like that makes a world of difference. Obviously, you don't want the flow to be too fast because then they won't want to work for it at the breast. So, now, there are a couple amongst this group that are not the slowest flow, but I will make sure to point those out to you. But I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot of bottles and I hear baby crying and Mark is alone with two kids. So I'm going to hurry up. So the first brand I have for you guys is Juvie. This is their 9 ounce bottle and then this is their 5 ounce bottle. I have two different nipples on here to show you guys. This is the standard nipple that just all the bottles come with. As you can see, it's just all one texture. And then on this one, I have their newer nipple. And as you can see, it's smoother down here. And then it, to me, it feels like it gets a little rougher as it goes. So up here, it's really smooth. And down here, it's a little bit um, more, not rough, but you know what I'm saying. But that nipple, I believe, is called the Boob Nude. I will link all the bottles and nipples that I'm talking about down below for you guys. So don't worry about a thing. I've got your back. But I did want to throw in prices really quick because I know that's a big point for everybody can't be breaking the bank trying to buy these bottles. So two of the nine ounce bottles will cost you $24.99. Two of the five ounce bottles will cost you $21. And then they do have a gift set that's called the PPSU set and it's $130. Really quickly, I'm not gonna go over it because I may do a separate review altogether of this, but the PPSU gift set they did send to me and I will say I think it's entirely worth it. I would obviously get one bottle and see if your baby takes to it before you commit to a whole gift set. But if you get one bottle, you see your baby loves it, it is totally in 110% worth the $130 to get the, um, the gift set. I'll have a link down below so you guys can check out what all comes in that gift set. And like I said, I think I might be doing a separate review because I've enjoyed it so much. So be on the lookout for that. Excuse me if I'm looking down, I'm just reading my notes. I want to make sure that I tell you guys everything. So as far as pros go, it has a very slow flow nipple. I will say that the size one is a little too fast for my liking. For me, a slow flow is when I can tip the bottle over and it's not... Um, 
coming out of the nipple whatsoever. I mean, I don't want a droplet. I don't want anything. So if I can tip it over and nothing absolutely is coming out, that's a perfect flow nipple for me, especially when you're nursing. So I found that level one did leak a little bit. It was just slowly forming droplets that would eventually fall off, but I wanted nothing, like I said. So I found that their size zero works perfectly for that. It doesn't let anything out of the bottle. The gift set also does come with pump adapters. And even if you don't get the gift set, I do believe that they're available for individual purchase on Amazon. Also my gift set, and I think I might have seen these on Amazon for individual purchase as well, but don't quote me. They do come with insulators, which I thought was really cool. You really don't see this with bottles, I feel like. While I have the top off of this one, I did want to show you the venting system. It's pretty easy. You wouldn't even notice it if I showed you the bottle like this, but it's right here. And as you can see, this ring just has little divots that you have to match up on the bottle and just make sure that it's sitting down in there correctly and nice and level and you're good to go. And that's the venting system. And I will say that I think it does a pretty good job and I've not noticed any kind of extra gassiness with her when she's using these bottles. I will say that this nipple is Remy's favorite style. I almost said Sophie. Guys, I've been doing that all the time. So this is Remy's favorite style of nipple. She's been loving these Juvie bottles. They're amazing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but she does like these nipples a little bit better than the other ones And I think it just has to do with the texture and I think that's pretty cool that they've thought about that Because it does feel a little bit more boob like to me this one anyways Yeah, we've just really enjoyed the juvie bottles and like I said I've had no problem going back and forth between breast and bottle The next bottle that I have for you guys is the Lansano mama bottle and this is what it looks like I may be a little biased, but I'm loving this name. This is what the nipple looks like Three of the five ounce bottles, which this is the five ounce, will cost you $19.99, and then three of the eight ounce will cost you $19.99. These bottles do have a slow flow. Not as slow as what I would like, but it is not super fast or anything crazy. If you do have a Lansano pump, you can pump straight into these, which I really, really like because I have a Lansano pump and I've been pumping straight into these. This is kind of the same style as the Juvie bottle, if you can see these close. So this is also right up Remy's alley. She has been enjoying these. So to me, it's convenient to pump straight into these and feed them to her. And they are also pretty easy to clean since they are also a wide neck bottle. And they're also pretty accessible. I found them at Walmart, at BB's R Us, at Target. I've seen them kind of everywhere. So I really do like that. The only con that I can find about this is that they don't have the best venting system. I feel like that's the only thing this bottle is lacking. The next bottle that I have to show you guys is the Mimi Jumi. I hope I am pronouncing that right. I am sorry if I am not. This is what it looks like. A 4-ounce bottle single is $28 and an 8-ounce is $24.99. This is the 8-ounce bottle. I will say that as flow goes, this is the most breast-like flow that I have found. When I tip it over, it does not leak out whatsoever. But when you squeeze it, it does let out droplets, but it eventually stops, which I think is craziness because that just seems crazy to me. I don't know how it stops. And, you know, like I don't really have any complaints about this bottle. It worked really well for us, but the price point is just the biggest flaw to me. And I think that's the reason why for a lot of people, it's not very realistic because $25 for one single bottle is a lot of money. So if you are able to, I would definitely recommend these because they are a great bottle and I feel like they're super, super breast-like. However, if you're not just hang in there, I have some other options for you, but we did enjoy this bottle too. I did want to say that all these bottles do have travel lids. I may just not be showing them because I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible and not make a 20 minute video, but no promises. So the next one I have is the Breast Flow. And this is one that I got myself and I was super excited. I was super excited the second I ordered it. And I will say guys, I was super let down. So this is what the nipple looks like and I'm gonna take it apart here in a second and I will show you the inside. But really quickly, three of the five ounce bottles will cost you $12.99 and then three of the nine ounce will cost you $15.99. And then inside the nipple, it's got two parts, if you can see. And then you just, you have to align them right, but you just insert this plastic part up in here. And this plastic insert is a little tougher than the nipple. It's not completely hard, but it is a little tougher. Now that is supposed to be, so they have to work their mouths to get the milk out and they really have to work for it. Now, I don't know if I got a defective bottle or what, but this was not slow flow at all. It would be slow flow if I tipped it 
over because it wouldn't leak whatsoever but once you squeeze it this thing would let out a whole bunch of milk and it would sit right here and then it would start to drip constantly and to me that kind of defeats the purpose i mean i thought this thing was there so she would have to keep working for it but it was just a mess it was everywhere and it was really way too fast for a newborn and even now it's way too fast for her so i did not enjoy this bottle it is a nice concept but i just feel like others execute it a lot better now the next one i have to show you guys i have to thank a bbb sister for because she posted about it and i ran to babies r us and i bought it as fast as i could and it's the tommy tippy ultra bottle now this is going to if I show it to you like this, it might look like a regular Tommy Tippy, but when you turn it to the side, you see the nipple is off to the side. Three of the five ounce will cost you $26.99, and three of the nine ounce will cost you $26.99. And this is the five ounce bottle. Like I said, it is a little bit different than the regular Tommy Tippy, but it does have a really slow flow. When I tip it over, it has absolutely no leakage whatsoever. Even after she's eaten off of it for a little bit, I can still tip it over, still no flowing, which I really like. And it also, I will say, when I saw this bottle, I was like, that's such a weird place to put the nipple. Is it going to offer a good latch? And I will say, it did give her one of the best latches out of all the bottles. She really enjoys this bottle, but I will not use this for one single reason. The only con that I have written down for this bottle, and let me show you why. Can you see this little notch right here? Now, I didn't even know it existed. But when you clean it, the nipple also does have that notch taken out of it. You have to align this nipple, the notch out of the nipple, with the notch in the nipple ring. Now, that may not seem like a big deal to most of you guys. However, if you're a new mom at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning, am I going to remember to line up the notches correctly, let alone find a light to turn on and wake myself up out of mommy mode and make sure that it's correctly in there? Probably not. And then it does leak if it's not correctly in there, right? So to me, I don't understand why that notch needs to be in there. I couldn't find a correct answer. It might have to do with the venting system. I'm not 100% sure, but I really don't like it. And I definitely know that my, my tired husband at four o'clock in the morning is not going to be looking to make sure that he aligned it up right either. So if that little tip it doesn't bother you I would highly recommend recommend that bottle because it is really great so the last bottle that I have for you guys is called the bear bottle now this was the bottle that I was the most excited to use this is the four ounce bottle two of these will cost you $24.99 and two of the eight ounce will cost you $24.99 now it does have this syringe like feeding and basically what it means is I don't know if you can see this but inside it's got this thing in the back that you pull and you push and it makes it a vacuum and basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put your milk in and then you keep pushing until there's no air and it squirts out and then you feed them and then what it would do is as they're eating it would slowly move and it would create a nice little vacuum and the bear bottle also does have a very interesting nipple on it i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you guys but it does have three holes three Four, I'm sorry it has three on the outside and then it has one in the middle and what it's supposed to do if you can see it's sunken down in they're basically supposed to pull this out just like they would work your own nipple and then I do like that it has multiple different little holes on it they're not fast flows whatsoever and that way it's more breast like to me because you have multiple streams when you are nursing so it is slow flow but it is multiple streams which I thought was really cool but I will say that Remy did not take to this bottle. I don't know if this just was not long enough for her to latch on to or what it was because she does prefer the longer nipples like this. This is what she likes. So I don't know if it was because of that, but she did not care for this bottle whatsoever. But I did think it was a really cool concept. It also does come with an extra nipple, at least the pack that I got, and it is this one. Remy did take to this one a lot easier. She enjoyed this one a lot better, but it is a little bit faster of a flow. Now those are all the bottles that I have for full review for you guys, but I did have a couple honorable mentions, and I've either reviewed these in the past or I'm going to have a review on them. And I will mention which is which, but one of the ones I wanted to mention is Dr. Brown's Wide Mouth Bottle. If you are going back and forth between breast and 
bottle, but your baby is gassy, maybe has a bit of reflux, whatever it may be, and you need that extra venting system, I would highly recommend the Dr. Brown's Wide Moth bottle. We did use those with Sophie for a just a little bit of time and we really did enjoy those. If you would like to hear my further thoughts on those, I will link that video down below for you guys. And in that same video, I go over the Komotomo bottle. This is by far and away one of my favorite bottles of all times. I recommend it to basically everybody. Mark and I have personally bought over, oh, I don't know, like four or five different sets of these bottles because we liked them so much with Sophie. Now, Remy hasn't really taken to this bottle, which is a shame, but I think it's just a nipple shape she's not a huge fan of. Like I said, she likes the Juvie ones a lot more, so it is different, as you can see, but these are just great bottles. If you want to hear my further thoughts on this as well, like I said, I'll have that video down below for you guys, but it is an awesome bottle. Now the next bottle that I have for you guys, I was not intending to review at all, but it just so happens I find it so amazing. So I wanted to throw it in here for people who may be tight on money or just don't want to spend a fortune on bottles because I can totally understand that, but it's the Newbie Natural Touch bottle. Like I said, I'm not going to offer a huge review on this bottle just because it is going to have its own video, so stay tuned for that, but I will say that these bottles are amazing for nursing moms. I really do think it's just amazing. There we go. I've already said it like three times, but the texture of the nipple, the flow of the nipple, it's just an all around great bottle. But stay tuned for a more in-depth review on it. And when that is up, I will have that link down below in this video as well. But yeah, those are all the bottles that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.